astronauts have perhaps one of the most interesting jobs in the world. They venture where very few have been, and get to observe our planet from the comfort of the International Space Station. Over 560 people have made it into space, and with new discoveries and technology, it's said that within the next few years that number will increase dramatically, with space agencies looking at introducing space tourism within the next few decades. Couple this with agencies' efforts at colonising planets such as Mars, and it's fair to say that interest in space is at an all-time high. The International Space Station is the most famous spacecraft that orbits our planet. It's a large spacecraft, and over the years various astronauts have called this place home. One of the most common things for astronauts to do is take incredible photographs of our planet. Interestingly though, some of these get more attention than others, and this is because of what can be seen in the background. One photograph taken by German astronaut Alexandra Gerst made the rounds on social media back in 2014. The photograph was shared on the astronaut's Twitter profile, where it quickly gained a lot of attention, even going on to be featured in various mainstream media articles where they suggested that what could be seen in the image was in fact a UFO. One news outlet reported that the image was huge, and measured in at around 5 to 7 miles in diameter, noting that whatever this object was it looked very disc-like, and seemed to have perfect symmetry. Various UFO websites posted about it first, one of which was Scott C. Waring of the UFO Sightings Daily website, and again noting that this object seemed to be the real deal. Even they admitted though that the object in question was not the best quality. They said the UFO could be seen over the ocean, with others making comparisons between UFOs and our oceans, stating that whatever these crafts are, they seem to be fascinated with bodies of water. Other UFO researchers stated the object wasn't actually in the sky, but rather under the ocean, However, this is unlikely as no clouds are above the object. If this photograph shows a UFO, it would make it one of the largest that's ever been captured on camera. As mentioned, estimations put the craft as being over 5 miles in diameter, with some saying that we don't have crafts that big or that shape, so it's definitely not one of ours. Others suggested that a more likely answer is that this is just a camera glitch, Sometimes these large images are put together using a variety of smaller images, so there's a possibility that this is just a gap that wasn't filled. Other online users weren't so impressed with the image, with one user saying the following, It seems that UFO researchers will label anything remotely strange as an unidentified flying object. The theories that are put forward are very out there. What's the most likely explanation? that this is a camera glitch, or that aliens have travelled millions of miles in high-tech crafts, just to accidentally get captured in an astronaut's photograph. I think I know which one sounds the most plausible. Others argue that UFO researchers will see what they want, and that if there's something that even slightly resembles a UFO, they will immediately believe that's what's been photographed, when in reality there could be a very simple explanation. Others have hit back at these sorts of claims, and have said that space is one of the best places to find UFOs. UFO researchers have said that for so long we've been kept in the dark about this topic, and when discoveries like this are made it does seem strange, but this is because we've been told our whole lives that UFOs don't exist, and when anything strange is found scientists are trying to debunk it. Others have made some interesting connections between the government and UFOs, stating that if these crafts aren't real, why have government officials created numerous secret programs to investigate these crafts? Why have officials spoken out about these objects, claiming that they possess technology that exceeds ours? Others though defend the government's decisions to keep us in the dark about this subject, saying that the majority of people can't even handle basic information that's given to them. So how are the masses going to react when they're told that we are part of something much bigger? Going back to the NASA photograph, 
One interesting thing to note is that NASA had the original photograph on their website, but when you click on the link you're met with a 404 error. Some say it's strange how the image has been taken off the NASA website, stating that perhaps the image did show something mysterious, whereas others say that NASA remove images all the time, and that it's likely just a coincidence. Another thing is that the image is also quite hard to find, with only a few websites still featuring the image. In recent years it seems that more people are talking about unidentified flying objects. Going back several years ago it was a topic that wasn't talked about, or featured in the mainstream media. However in recent years this has changed. People now more than ever are openly talking about this topic, with even professionals like astronauts being open about their sightings. One person who came forward and talked about UFOs was that of Edgar Mitchell. Edgar Mitchell is perhaps best known for being the sixth person to walk on the moon. Later on in his life, Mitchell became known in the UFO community for being open about the topic, and even going on to detail his encounter with UFOs. He believed that not only were UFOs real, but high up government officials were hiding the truth from the public going on to say that throughout his life he had many interesting conversations with high up officials, and they told him events like Roswell were real. He didn't want to keep this sort of information bottled up, and so opened up about everything he'd been told. He said the following during an interview, I happen to have been privileged enough to be in on the fact that we've been visited on this planet, and that the UFO phenomenon is real. In reply to this, a spokesman for NASA said the following, NASA does not track UFOs. NASA is not involved in any sort of cover-up about alien life on this planet, or anywhere in the universe. Dr. Mitchell is a great American, but we do not share his opinions on this issue. So what do you make of these sorts of images? Do you think they show something mysterious? Or do you think they could be camera anomalies and glitches? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.